Nisambulu Vinaka. My name is Anne-Marie Victoria Randuva. I am I just turned 19. Um, I attend Swami Vivekananda College as a year 13 student, um, also a climate change and environmental activist in Fiji. Um, I started advocating at the age of 14. I um, founded the Say No to Building Releasing campaign. Um, and I found that a lot of people nowadays, like they use balloons for celebrations. People use balloons because they're cheap and they're affordable and they're bright. Uh, but little do they know that they can cause um, marine life, you know, to, like to deteriorate. Um, and I found that when we release a balloon, it floats a thousands of miles away. And once it reaches like that level, it bursts. And majority of its um, balloon fragments fall on the ocean surface, where they resemble as food for turtles, fish, and other marine um, organisms. And once these marine organisms eat it, um, it causes the animal to starve and blocks its gut. And um, back in 2018, December 1st, 2018, I organized our first mangrove party. And also I founded the Young Eco Champions League Fiji. Um, it is where children under the ages of 18 uh, come together collectively. And we talk about um, different issues, not only climate change, but you have mental health issues and many other issues that needs to be addressed. Um, and so far from 2018 until now, we have more than 860 kids around Fiji who have joined that um, the Young Eco Champions League. Um, and I've also um, initiated our first mangrove planting also in December 1st, 2018. From uh, December 1st, 2018 till to date, um, the Young Eco Champs and I have planted more than 80,000 mangroves along the Suva foreshore. And we continue to plant mangroves until we can't plant no more. Um, from when I started advocating on uh, balloon releasing, um, I was lobbying for government to amend the Fiji Litter Act 2008 law uh, because the amendment needs to be revised, it needs to be checked. Um, and from uh, when I started advocating until now, I'm still lobbying from the Fijian government uh, to classify the Fiji Litter Act 2008 law, to classify balloon as a form of litter. I think one of the main focuses I have is bringing in new kids and um, not only leaving a legacy, but also teaching them, um, you know, and sharing to them my experience um, and, you know, allowing them to have a platform of their own regarding certain issues and allowing them to express themselves um, and to also to give them a voice because we live in a society where there are certain things that we are not meant to say and things that you know we are restricted from doing so with the help of um, young kids you know I'm able to you know teach um, new kids that are coming into the Young Eco Champions League um, and also my two younger sisters I'm the eldest so I think this is like a blessing um, that I'm also teaching them um, and this award um, does not only you know um, is about me but it's also for the young eco champs who have sacrificed so much and have supported me throughout the years of um, advocating for balloon releasing and also for climate change um, and I'm so thankful and this award goes to them also a special um, shout out is to my grandmother who just uh, who had like whose birthday is today um, she resides in Dubai so this award goes to her for always pushing me um, out of my comfort zone and also um, allowing me to dream big